A prisoner of an Alabama is about to take an experimental execution using nitrogen gas on Tuesday. The prisoner's lawyer said on Friday that a federal court formed a ruthless and unusual punishment. Even veterinarians avoid using nitrogen gas in euthanasia for most animals. A prisoner of Alabama is planned to be executed by nitrogen gas on Tuesday. This is an experimental form of punishment that caused a global explosion from human rights organizations. In September 2022, Kenneth Eugene Smith survived fatal injection attempt that the Alabama Correction Department. Officials tried and failed vain to find vain vain. The UN High Human Rights Commissioner criticized the planned execution, saying that torture other cruel, inhumane or humiliating treatment punishment, including the international human rights treaties. Critics also pointed out the 2020 euthanasia guidelines of the American Veterinary Medicine Association, which says that nitrogen hypoxia creates an anoxic environment that is sad for some species. Unacceptable, he says. On Friday, federal court heard the allegations from Smith's lawyer in the last-minute efforts to prevent execution saying that a second execution attempt would create ruthless and unusual punishment. According to Smith's lawyer, he argued that he has adopted the most painless and humanitarian execution method. Unconscious nitrogen hypoxia execution method includes the attachment of a mask on nitrogen gas on the prisoner's face. However, Smith's lawyer argued that seal of mask was risk of infiltration in oxygen and caused a long-term and horrific execution. Federal appeal judges asked on Friday what would happen if Smith vomited in mask Alabama's general, replied that the state would not stop nitrogen gas after state began to flow. If you vomit during execution while mask is open, you tell me that state will not stop execution. Will they let him drown his vomit? According to Associated Press, he asked a judge. In 1988, Smith convicted of the ruthless rental plan against Elizabeth Senate. Smith and another man accepted $1,000 from Senate's husband, who was preacher who by suicide as a punishment, he said he stabbed and beaten with fireplace instrument on the stage. According to Associated Press, Smith confessed to the crime, and the other man was executed in 2010 with a fatal injection. In a recent interview with Guardian, Smith said that he was sick of stomach about his second journey to news organization approaching the death room.